Well, good morning. Welcome to Debbie's Back Porch. So glad to have you with us. You may have missed me. I've been gone for a while, and I'm going to explain why very quickly. I've had to become very, very careful with my carb intake because of my health. And so I've been rethinking my food and eating carbs low carb can be very boring uh, so I'm going to share a few of the new new low carb dishes I've been making and because I'm missing potatoes really badly I've made some spaghetti squash hash browns and they were pretty yummy so let's get cooking so let's list our ingredients and I'll have these in the info section I have one cup of cooked spaghetti squash. I cooked two of those yesterday and broke them up into portions. This is about a half of a medium onion chopped fine. One egg and then I'm using coconut flour. Using coconut flour or almond flour, you can use either in this, means that you get a little bit different color when you're browning things. They don't look quite as golden as they do with flour or cornstarch. I've got here a half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and a half teaspoon of cumin. And the cumin adds a flavor that sort of tamps down the squashy flavor. And I like squash, but I'm making hash browns, so I'm going to tamp that flavor down just a little bit. So I've just got the squash, the onions, the egg, and all the spices going to put those in and mix this up really well and some of my squash still has kind of lumps uh, so I'm going to break those up as I go uh, this would the coconut flour makes this just a tad sweet to the flavor uh, it, it's less so if you use almond flour but I don't have any almond flour on hand and I use coconut flour a fair amount for breading and that sort of thing and it works really well but it does add just a little of its own flavor as you go now if you're not eating strictly low carb you can use a little flour you know three tablespoons full of flour that's not a lot of carbs it's just more than I can handle right now because I'm eating very low carb and my sugars down by the way I just want to keep it down uh, too much bread I suppose now I'm going to add uh, in my flour a little bit at a time. I measured out three tablespoons full, but I may not use it all. I want to make this a consistency where it will stay together pretty well in the pan. You know, without the flour, without that gluten, it's probably going to be hard to keep it totally together. Um, but the almond, the coconut flour will help some. I just want to add enough, and I think about three tablespoons full. I have some little lumps in there I'll have to break up as I go. So basically, I'm going to make two large hash browns out of this. You could make four smaller ones. Uh, they, they probably brown a little bit better and more evenly if you made them smaller. I'm cooking a, a little chunk of salmon that I'm going to have with this uh, and uh, I'm just going to make one for myself now and one for later. So you'll see about how much you have and I'm going to check this to make sure I've got a consistency that will stick together fine. Yeah, see, that's enough of the coconut flour and I'm going to Get my pan ready, and I will meet you at the stove. So in my little 9-inch cast iron skillet here, I have just a little oil, maybe three tablespoons full, and then a pat of butter. And I'm testing it here. You see how that sizzles? And I'm just going to, when it gets good and hot, it sizzles, I'm going to put in one of my patties. As I said, I'm going to save the other one for tomorrow in the fridge. Once you get it in the pan and it starts sizzling, leave it alone for about two minutes. I mean, don't touch it. Leave it alone. And before I turn it, I'm going to loosen it just a little bit because the texture of the coconut flour and the 
squash means it might stick a little bit more than if you were using flour. Uh, but I'm going to loosen it carefully uh, and before I flip it. And my goal is to keep it together, to keep it from falling apart. And the coconut flour is not as binding as uh, regular flour or cornstarch. So you have to add just a little bit of care. So don't try this until it's been in the pan two, two and a half minutes. And, and it started to brown on the bottom. But then loosen it carefully until it will slide. And then I always use a fork or a spoon on the other side for stability and to prevent splash. So I'm going to give it a little flip here. And really, this it could just come all apart. So let me get it under there. And let's see. Flip it. Yeah. Now, that wouldn't be so crucial if we had potatoes, but we have squash, and they're really not good if they come loose and cook loose. Like, if you had a few potatoes come loose, it'd be okay. So, I've let that cook now uh, on the second side. I'm going to give it one more flip. And I know that looks really, really brown to you, but it's not scorched, I promise. Coconut flour and almond flour just brown a little bit differently than regular flour. I'm going to take this up and let it drain on a paper towel and then plate it up. I'll be right back. So here is my dinner. Here are my hash browns. That's salmon. And yes, that's ketchup. I'm sorry. I wanted ketchup. I've got ketchup. Not a sacrilege. I made this ketchup. And I made it without sugar, and I used the Mrs. Wages packet. It's really good. So you can use artificial sugar in that and have no sugar in your ketchup. I'm going to dip that in. And you know, this is really good. It's not potatoes. It's really good spaghetti squash, though, and it gives you a little bit of crunch. I'm going to give you a close-up there so you can see the texture. So much of low-carb cooking, and I mean really low-carb cooking, is about making low-carb things taste like your comfort foods. It's easier for you to stay on your diet, your eating plan, if you can satisfy some of those cravings. And this comes pretty close to hash browns, and it, it's a really tasty dish on its own. Uh, it's just a, a variation on squash fritters, but I use it to substitute for hash browns. Thank you for joining us on Debbie's Back Porch. I hope you try it. I hope you like it. And if you're eating low carb, this is for you. See you again tomorrow.